Married at First Sight, Season 14, Episode 1, and we are moving on to Michael and Jasmina. And I'm happy to be here after screaming at the camera for the last two reviews of Lindsay and um, Olajuwon and Katina. I'm happy to get here because you know what, y'all? I like this couple. I am really optimistic. I know Married at First Sight has changed and it's a lot of entertainment value and they've got some jacked up couples this year. But this couple right here, I am really looking forward. I really hope they make it. And I'm calling them the Classy Stallion and the Lone Wolf. Jasmina is beautiful. She is tall and statuesque. And Michael has called himself the Lone Wolf. So they're going to be the Classy Stallion and the Lone Wolf in my eyes. But Jasmina, I, when I saw her, I started thinking of that song, Meg the Stallion. I'm classy, bougie, but a little bit of... And I'm not going to say she's ratchet, but she got the what's happening part. Because I don't know if you guys watched the after party with um, Keisha Knight Pulliam. And it has been revealed that Jasmina and Loud Lindsay do not get along. Lindsay, Jasmina does not like Lindsay. But you know what? She kept it classy. She sat on that couch with her eyes slit. But you know what? The eyes said it all. The eyes said it all. And Lindsay better watch out because I think Jasmine, J Jasmine is the type of person where she's classy, but if you come at her the wrong way, she can get in it. She can get in it. So she better watch out. But anyway, I like Jasmina. I really like her. So I hope I can be, um, you know, partial when as a thing goes on. But uh, right now, I'm really liking her. She's kind of like a no-nonsense type of person, but she's got like this nice balance. You know, at the bachelor party, she was able to let loose. She was able to dance and all that kind of stuff. But the dress she picked out for her wedding, we haven't seen the wedding, but we've seen the dress she picked out. It's beautiful. It's classy. It's got drama to it. You know what I'm saying? But she's sort of in control. I really like her. She's really like a nice balance. You know, she told a story how she has this history of dating men who are um, emotionally unavailable. And you know what? They've been showing signs that Michael isn't all isn't that great at opening up. He himself even admits that he's sort of been a lone wolf. He hasn't really been the best compromiser in previous relationship. He's kind of out there on his own. And so I think that might end up being a little bit of um, area where they kind of have to work through, but it doesn't seem so large that they can't get through it. So that's why I'm really, really excited to. But Jasmina went on to tell this story how her last relationship she was with a guy and he, he had a baby on her. I'm like, man, these young girls, they have only been out here in the dating world not too long. And some of the stories that are coming up with between her and Katina and different people, the stories they're coming up with, with how, you know, it's just so horrible to hear at such a young age, almost like, man, just get married because the longer you out here, it's almost like it's just tread marks on your back. These men out here is just doing all kinds of stuff to these young girls. So I was really sad to hear that she had to go through so much at such a young age. Um, but she made it through it. She's here. And I, I think she found her man. I think she found her husband. Um, she, she come from a big family. But she also told the story about that even though she's from a big family, she didn't really grow up with a big family. Um, she, she told the story that her mother abandoned her and her younger sister when they were young. And so her and her younger sister sort of went with her dad and then her dad remarried. And then when her dad remarried another woman, that woman really became more like her mother. That woman adopted her and pretty much raised her to the point uh, that eventually the, her father and that woman divorced. That father went to Jamaica and that stepmother continued to raise Jasmine and her sister. So her stepmother really is like her mother. And so that's kind of the history of her, her upbringing, which, you know, any, all of us have these things that weren't perfect in our life. And when you get in relationships, they do get magnified. You don't know how it's going to affect your relationship, but it does come into play. So you just hope that you can work through it and sort of balance it out. And the thing about Michael is he has his own sort of things that's gone on in his life. He, he mentioned that his father died. His brother was shot. So he has some trouble, but he also comes from a, a pretty big family. We got to meet um, Michael's family, all of his sisters and everything. And let me tell you, one of the sweetest lines 
his family said was, we already love her. Talking about Jasmina. I, that just made my heart melt. You know, if, you, if the family accepts you, you halfway in the door. So I really like that. Michael was like the only brother out of all these girls. So of course, you know, the girls are going to be protective. But they're also really excited for their brother. You know, um, like I said, you always learn something from the family because they spill the truth. And one of the things they said about uh, Michael was, you're going to need to work on your compromise. So it sounds like that's not one of his strong suits. So we're going to keep an eye out for that. But Jasmina seems like she is grounded enough that she's going to be able to, you know, nip that in the bud and, and maybe have some good conversation about it and really work through their issues. So I'm really ex happy about that. I guess Michael has to work on his patience. He's also said he's a bit impatient. So that's something else he's going to have to work on. Um, Jasmina, I, you know what? She, you know, she said that, you know, the problems were with all the men. Every time I hear a woman say that or anybody say that, I say, girl, you know, you got some issues too. So I'm not quite sure if she hasn't identified hers yet. So we might need to help her along the way this season. But everybody got parts of them that they need to work on, Jasmine. So you better figure out what yours are because you still got work to do. I love you. I like you. But I know you got some things you're going to have to work on too. And her mother, um, her mother just spoke, spoke glowingly of her and she just wants the best for her daughter. So I really like that. It was really no drama with them. Um, I like them. I think neither one of them are too high, too low. I'm just really feeling the vibe right here. So I'm really optimistic about them. So what do you guys think? Do you think they have a chance? Um, there's anything about them that stood out to you uh, that were red flags. I mean, you know, there's red flags with everyone. But let me know. Drop, drop what you think down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be um, uploading all the videos from all the different couples. And um, I will talk to you later. Okay, bye.